There are certain laws in material science. We will see all these three important laws. First law we have law of conservation of mass. Second is your law of definite proportions. Third one is the law of multiple proportions. So what is this law of conservation of mass? This law of conservation of mass was given by Antony Lavoisier and it says matter can neither be created nor destroyed by chemical reactions or by physical transformations. So whether you perform any chemical reaction or you perform any physical transformations, let any physical transformation happen, your matter will never be created and it will never be destroyed. Just for an example, we have methane CH4, one carbon atom which is black and four carbon hydrogen atoms which is shown in white and then it combines with 2O2 so it gives CO2 plus 2H2O. So the amount of hydrogen and oxygen that are present initially will remain same after the reactions as well and hence it validates this law that is law of conservation of mass and it was given by Anthony Lavoisier. From exam point of view what is important is for some objective questions uh, first thing important is this law is given by whom? So this law of conservation of mass was given by Anthony Lavoisier and what does this law says? Law says that matter can neither be created nor be destroyed either by chemical reactions or by physical transformations. Second law we have is law of definite proportions. This law was given by Mr. Joseph Prost, remember his figure. And it says a given compound always consists of exactly the fixed and same proportion of elements by mass. A given compound always consists of exactly the fixed and same proportion of elements by mass. Sim example, carbon dioxide can be formed by different processes, maybe by burning of wood or materials, but is always contains one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. So whenever we talk about carbon dioxide, you know that the formula for this is CO2. So why this is fixed? Because this law of definite proportions. So this is a compound we have. So this compound is exactly having a fixed proportion of carbon element and a fixed proportion of oxygen element. Alright, so it contains always one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms by whichever means you produce this, doesn't matter. So what is important here? What is this law speaking about? And this law is given by Mr. Joseph Prost. Third law we have is law of multiple proportions. It was given by Mr. John Dalton. So when two elements combine to form more than one compound, the mass of one element that combines with a fixed mass of other element will always be in a ratio of whole numbers. So here we have only two elements which is carbon and oxygen. So carbon and oxygen combine to form carbon monoxide. On the other hand, carbon and oxygen also combines to form carbon dioxide. So the ratio of oxygen and carbon dioxide to oxygen in carbon monoxide is in the ratio of whole numbers that is 2 is to 1. So which is this law that is law of multiple proportions given by Mr. John Dalton. See you in the next video. Till then, bye.